Hey guys, John here from Surviving on the Cheap, and uh, I wanted to take this time to show you a few things I've been working on. Now, if you remember, uh, maybe I think it was one or two videos ago, uh, we were talking about how Pat and I uh, are thinking about getting into the knife making arena. Well, we've been working on that, and uh, I've decided that before I start making my own knives, uh, it might be helpful to start maybe. Uh, I, uh, the big term is pimping, so pimping other people's knives, which is basically just taking an existing knife and altering it to something that I would like it to look like. So that's what I've been doing, and I have, I actually have three that I've done, and I could only find two. Uh, these are my most recent ones, and uh, if you follow us on Instagram, you've seen these before maybe a million times because we've taken about a thousand pictures of each of them, but uh, I haven't shown it on YouTube yet. So this is our progress so far. So, um... The, this knife is an Ontario Rat 1, and basically all I did to this was I did custom scales for it. So I took the, as you can see, the blade is still normal, and I might actually change that in the future, but right now, it's just a, a satin finished blade, and I did this very, very cool pattern on the scales. I also took the clip off, and took the black coating off of it because I think it matches better like this. Um, but for those of you who aren't familiar with the Rat 1, or those of you who are familiar with the Rat 1 will know that the handle scales are very, very slick and you get no texture off of them. So what I did was I took them and did this pattern. It's basically like uh, cross hatching. On this end it's a little bit wider and then it tapers and then you come to the other end and it's wider and it tapers and just zigzags back and forth and it gives you a really cool effect and it looks very very cool but these aren't new scales that I made these were just the existing Zytel scales that I uh, did this texturing to and I think it came out really really cool it didn't take me that long and actually ever since I put this up on Instagram I immediately got people asking me where where I got it done and where they can get some and maybe in the future I would get into like doing these for customer knives but uh, as it stands right now I don't know that I have the technical skill so I'll keep you posted but yeah so there's that very very cool I love this knife I, I still might acid stone wash the blade but that gets me into my next knife the other one I did which is one of Pat's favorite knives it is the Kershaw Chill so as you can see other than the hardware, the thing is like all murdered out, blacked out. Let's see if I can deploy it. The thing is super fast. I put a crazy sharp edge on this thing. But um, basically what I did was an acid stone wash on the blade. I did an acid wash of the liners. And I acid stone washed the pocket clip. I think it gives it a really, really cool contrast with the satin finish hardware. I think it's just beautiful. I wasn't super jazzed about this. I, like, aesthetics-wise, I just didn't really like the knife. It was just very plain, you know, the classic Kershaw silver blade, black handle. But I think like this, it just adds a few, like, a really cool contrast to it. I think it just blends really well. It's kind of stealthy looking, very sleek, very cool. Oh, by the way, I also did the backspacer. Um, in sort of this like cog pattern, gear pattern, and I actually saw that on a Tough Thumbs video, and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool, I could give that a try, so that didn't take too much, and it just adds this subtle, um, subtle bit of depth to it, it's just really cool, but yeah, I'm like totally in love with this knife now, the thing is just absolutely gorgeous, so this is something that I'm going to be doing a lot, um, just, you know, basically, these were the two knives I had that I was willing to take the risk on to uh, have a go at my my own knife pimping. But I think they actually came out really cool. They just add some. I just I love these both of these knives about ten times more uh, now than I did before. Uh, they they were knives I had that never got any pocket time just because they just didn't do it for me. They weren't that cool, and now I can't put them down. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, let me know. Um, I'm looking for feedback from you guys. If you think it's cool what I did here, 
let me know if you don't really like it. If you do your own knife pimping and you have some tips for me, let me know because I really am basically just uh, looking at pictures and watching videos and kind of coming up with my own ways of doing things. Because um, a lot of a lot of knife pimpers, obviously, because this is their business, they don't want to let you know how they do all their their little trip their, their little uh, tricks and tips and everything. So, kind of coming up with it on my own. But if you got any tips for me, let me know because I'm really interested in this stuff. But yeah, so uh, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of this kind of stuff in the future. I got a few knives coming in. Um, nothing too expensive. I, I actually went on like the forbidden site AliExpress and ordered a bunch of clone knives just because they were like ten, twelve bucks. And I can afford to kind of mess around with those and play with them and come up with cool stuff before I go out and buy really expensive knives. So, yeah, like I said, let me know what you think. If you think it's cool and you think I got something here, let me know. Oh, wait, wait, one more thing. Uh, this isn't a knife that I've pimped or anything, but oops, bang my tripod. A new knife I just got in. Beautiful. Manix 2 Translucent Blue Lightweight. I am in love with this knife. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Look, you can see my face. But um, love this thing. And I actually I made a mistake when ordering it, and I actually ordered two. Um, so Pat's going to have one. Pat's going to buy the other one off of me. So we're each going to have our own Manix 2, Manix 2 Lightweights. It's going to be so cute. We're going to have matching knives. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that. So like I said, guys, let me know what you think. Um, you know, like the video, spread it around. Uh, also, check us out on Instagram. Uh, as you may not know, or as you may know or may not know, we're doing a giveaway where we want you to upload, just basically upload pictures that you think are cool to Instagram. We're going to pick one that we like and uh, give somebody a Ripple 2, a pretty cool little flashlight, and I think a Swiss Army knife. So, that's going to be cool. But yeah, check out the Instagram. You see a lot of this stuff. Basically, see all the new knives we're always getting in because me and Pat are just totally addicted to knives and it's sick. We're sick. We need help. But yeah, I'm not going to bother you much longer. So, um, like I said, check us out on Instagram. Like the video. Subscribe if you haven't. And always have a nice day.